real me, I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Know they trapped me It's really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped If you wanna know how I got my this look Stay tuned till the end Cause I'm gonna show you how I got mine Cause I got mine Cause I got mine what's poppin y'all welcome back i'm here with another video featuring my crowned wigs now ladies and gentlemen this is a 22 inch hd lace frontal wig here's everything that came in the box all my little goodies lashes stocking cap all of that hot shit feel me so today i'm gonna be doing a flawless install but this time i'm gonna be using a client like hello i'm popping out i'm stepping out. i'm trying new things on this channel i'm gonna bring more content i want you guys to be you know interested i want to draw my viewers attention so here on the 22 inch lace hd lace frontal wig the knots are really little that's one thing so far that i really like the knots are super little so it's way easier to bleach did I also mention how thin the lace was? The lace is super, super duper thin. I'm going to show you guys how I slay my clients this time instead of myself. So now here I'm just spraying some freeze blast spray to keep all her baby hairs back and all her edges back so it won't get in the way of the cat placement. Then you want to go ahead and blow dry it on your warm heat setting. Then after I blow dry and I get everything all stiff and out of the way, you want to go ahead and follow every video that you've seen me do the cat method on. You want to do the same with your clients. So the same thing you do to yourself. It's actually easier when you do it with clients because it's like you're actually in front of them get to see as for doing it on yourself and being in a mirror. If you understand what I'm trying to in you pick up what I'm putting down. All right. So I got this cream palette from my local beauty supply store. I'm going to do like a little vlog on that store because I literally get everything from that store. So yeah, I found that I like cream better than the powder because I feel like the powder leaves more of a mess and more of an ashy flashback. Like I would just use the powder for when I'm defining my center parts or my side parts or any of my parts. But I rather cream now. I really like the cream. So I'll go ahead and... You know, set the tone. Do what you do when you're putting on the cap. Remember, the same thing you would do to make yourself look beautiful, you want to do it for your clients. This video is not only for clients. You can do, you can use these same tips on yourself. So after you're done setting the makeup in the cap, you want to cut a little slit so your clients can see and send them under the dryer for about 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, 5 to 10 minutes is fine. 10 minutes max. And then you want to go ahead and take them from under the dryer and begin to shape and mold your cap. You know, you're going to cut off all the axis cap that's remaining and shape it and mold it to their hairline so that you can proceed to the skin cleaning process and then you know the grand finale laying the lace So one of my favorite YouTube hairstylists, Erica J, did put me on to this Sea Breeze. And I actually like it way better than the regular 99% alcohol. I'll use the 99% alcohol when I'm removing the lace instead of cleaning the skin. Because I realized this is for sensitive skin. And the client's skin reacts better to it. And I really like it. It cleans the same way as alcohol if you ask me. It's just more skin friendly. So yeah, I did take the wig to the back and I bleached it. I barely, like, barely had to pluck it. I only bleached it for about 35 minutes. 
and I barely had to pluck it and these were the results like do you see that already given scalp and <laughs> it didn't even touch a scalp yet okay So I just want you to guys to see how beautiful and natural this looks already. It's not even melted yet. And this is what it just looks like after the bleaching and the plucking process. This is six inch parting, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This is six inch parting. So you know the part go way back. I love six inch parting. I feel like it looks more natural. Like I like it like that. I don't like the four inch parting. It's mad small. I'll do it, but like I prefer the six inch parting. So here now, I'm just cutting out the little sides where her ears, you know, are hiding under the wig. And then I go back in with the same makeup that I used on the cap. I just rub some up on the inside of the lace. I get it all around the edges and then going down the part. And then I'm going to flip the wig and do that for the edges on the outside of the wig well the lace sometimes i'll use lace tint depending on the lace but in some cases i really like to go on with my cream makeup i like this better but the lace tint i'll use it on like 613 hairs or sometimes even you know on the regular virgin colored wigs but i don't know I, it's something about the cream makeup that just gives it that you you see look what's going on i like this So here now I'm just positioning the wig on my client's head so I can go in and start with my glue process. I am going to go in with four thin layers of bowl hole. You want to make sure you smooth this out so thin and nice and neat because if you leave it all bulky and, and just tacky and disgusting, the meltdown will not be a meltdown it will be uh i don't even know what to call it that's how bad it's gonna look and i'm not we not nah we're not doing that so you're gonna make sure you take your time and you smooth it out P go to the middle of the cap like you want to make sure you push everything all over the front of the cap like you want to focus the glue on the front of the cap and anything that you miss you're gonna go over it and you know glue it after you lay the lace down so just focus on the cap anything that goes a little over the cap is fine as well but make sure you focus a majority of the glue the first three couple four layers on the front of the cap the base of the cap So after you get your layers down, you want to position the lace properly. Take a deep breath because this part is tricky. Position and pull. You want to pull everything forward. Just get the main parts of the lace into the glue. And then you want to pull like the very edge, like, you know, the tip of the lace, the very front of the lace. You want to pull it over so that it's not touching the cap. And then anything that was missed and there's no glue on that area after you cut the lace, you're going to go over it and just add some glues in that extra in those extra areas where there was no glue. So you want to use your comb and lightly press the lace into the glue. However, I do not recommend using your fingers because I know what I'm doing and I know how to use my fingers and how what kind of pressure to put. I'm using my fingers, but like I recommend you don't. So you want to go ahead and use your blow dryer on the highest heat setting 
and go ahead and melt the lace in use the comb and just press it in going downwards and then going backwards going all across the lace make sure you're lightly pressing the lace in because if you're not careful the lace will turn white and you are going to be pissed all right so take your time don't rush if you wouldn't rush yourself don't rush your clients take your time so now i'm going to go ahead and cut this into three little sections and then i went in and i used my razor blade however i really don't like using a razor blade i'm not even gonna lie i'd rather use like the scissors because the razor blade i just feel like i'm i get nervous like i'm gonna cut into the lace or something or i'm cutting off too much lace whereas for the scissors like i'm in control you know i'm controlling the blades so i know exactly where and how i want to cut as you can see right here so i was just using the blade you know just to get some most of the lace out the way and i went over it with the actual scissor and cleaned up a majority of what i didn't need or what was left So after I get all the excess lace out the way and get everything neatly placed where I want it to be, I just go over the parts where miss some glue and I just take a little popsicle stick and I go ahead and grab some more of that bow hole and just rub it under the lace and go ahead and melt it in the same way I did when I first put the wig on. So here I'm just parting out a section of hair which is going to be used for the baby hairs. And I just want you guys to see how beautifully melted this lace is into the scalp. Once again, crown my crowned wigs 
my crowned wigs hd lace frontal wig for the win all right do you see that perfect you can't even tell the difference i swear you can't i almost cut her trying to find the lace because i couldn't tell the difference so here i'm going in with some bedhead you know hair molding spray and i'm going to spray down the the edges of where i glued i find that when you do this and you tie the hair with an elastic band it it's more security it helps keep the lace in place longer it lasts longer it gives it more of a flawless finish on the edges you know and then you want to put your clients under the dryer after you do this step for about 10 to 25 minutes for a extra extra melted install yes 10 to 25 minutes for the win So after your client comes from under the dryer, you just want to loosen up the hairs a bit, comb it back, you know, to give it more of like a soft finish and then pull the hairs that stuck to her face up a bit. And then I'm going to go in with my She Is Bomb wax stick and I'm just going to smooth out the edges in the top part, you know, and start my hot combing process. So after I get everything smoothed and out the way and pressed back all neatly, I'm going to go in with my tweezers and thin out the hairs that I parted out in the front because they were a little too thick and we don't want thick hula hoop baby hairs. What I told you about that. No, you want them thin and nice and natural. So I'm going ahead and I'm just going to tweeze it out a bit, make sure it's really thin. And then I'm going to go in with my razor blade and just shave them down. Remember, ladies, the shorter, the better. The shorter, the more natural. Like I said, baby hairs are unique. They're however you want them to be. But I prefer them to look natural. So the shorter you cut them, the more natural and the more flawless they will look. So I did lose the clip of me putting in these two beautiful braids. But I did get inspired by this hairstyle and my client was going on a trip to Hawaii so I felt why not this hairstyle was literally perfect yes we are going to be using Nairobi for the baby hairs this is a very tedious time taking time practicing task you guys if you do not know how to use this it's okay you can use the black got to be glue gel that still works wonderful but i like to use my mousse sometimes i like to use my gel so if you don't know how to use the mousse you want to go ahead and practice on someone or practice on yourself because you have to be very gentle or the lace will lift you have to lightly fluff and swing the baby hairs how you want them or the lace will lift if you are too rough
remember to be gentle and take your time if the lace unfortunately does begin to lift that's why i say when you spray either you can either use the bed head spray that i showed you guys or the got to be freeze blast spray when you spray that spray and you put your client under the dryer with a headband you want to leave them under there for that 15 to 25 minutes because that determines if the lace will lift or not when you're doing the mousse baby hair technique the longer you leave them under there the more the lace will melt and the more security it will be when you're doing this technique So once you're done with the baby hairs, you want to go ahead and put a little more mousse over the edges. And then you're going to take your black wrap, your black paper wraps, and you're going to tie one sheet first. And then you're going to go ahead and fold another piece in half this time. The same black paper, you're going to get another piece folded in half and tie it again for extra security. You know, the more security, the better the melt, the longer the lace lasts, you're good. Then you're going to go in with your either bed head spray or your freeze blast spray. Any type of um, hair holding spray that you like to use. My preference is the bed head so far. I really like this spray. And you want to spray it across the lace. Well, not the lace. The paper. The black paper. You want to spray it across the black paper. And then you're going to go ahead and either place your client under the dryer. In my case, I just began to start styling my client's hair. yes y'all i learned how to crimp you can't laugh at me no more but okay i got a whole new crimping iron i hated the bedhead crimping iron it was just too huge for my poor tiny little hands like it was just really big i couldn't mm -mm. this one i don't recall where i got it from but i'm gonna search it up and i will have it in my description box i believe it's revlon but it's really really good the crimps came out perfect like this is the best crimping iron i've ever touched or came across came across in my whole entire life literally like i cannot make this up as you can see for yourself like look at this it crimped perfectly and as i said you know my client is going to hawaii and this was just the perfect style like this was just the perfect style so yeah you want to spray your freeze blast spray oh my god you see how much weight i'm gaining Ugh, don't mind me you want to spray your fleet your freeze blast spray onto your hair comb it out a bit and then go ahead and proceed with your crimping process All information on this hair will be linked down below in the description box so please
so when you get to the top section like when you're finishing up your crimps you want to part it in more of like a bigger section like how you see I have here or else it will be broken up and you don't want that to be all broken up and split split looking crazy so you want to part off into a nice thick section but like not too much hair you get what I'm saying like make sure it's like wide like enough hair like a wide section and then you want to go ahead and crimp so everything just falls nice and evenly and you want to do this for both sides So once you're finished crimping the hair, you want to set it with some of your styling spray and go ahead and remove the black paper for the final look. And here I'm just going to show you guys how it looks after it is, you know, set. The baby hairs are dried and I have not combed them out or fluffed them out yet. This is what it looks like. If you want your hair to remain like this, then you do not have to comb it out. You can leave it just as so. But do you see how flawless and perfect these edges look let me tell you something i did that so i went back in with some more of my she's bomb wax stick just to get the top to lay super super flat y'all know how i feel about my wigs looking hoodie-ish we not a boogie all right we not trying to be hoodie seasoned up with these wigs no we want it to be flat and seamless we wanted to be given scalp not hat all right so i went in and i made sure i smoothed it out i didn't burn her i didn't burn her relax all right don't don't go dragging me in the comments now i ain't burn her all right i just a little heaty heat went through the lace and she jumped but i ain't burn her okay but don't burn your clients guys be careful yes and tell your clients not to move because if they move then they will get burned but i went ahead and i just you know took my flat iron and just made sure i smoothed the top out and made it really really flat So I got these clips from my local beauty supply store near my shop. This one is not by my house. This one is actually nearby my shop. And I said, you know, why not add some gold clips in there? And, you know, just to spice up the hairstyle, you know, have it looking a little more pop. We want it to pop a little more, you know. So I went ahead and I added these clips in. And they were a little hard to open because I have nails. And, ugh, don't do this with nails, please. It's going to cut you. It's going to scratch you. And it hurts. So I went ahead and got my comb and began to fluff the baby hairs out, you know, soften it up a little, give it like a more of a natural touch to it. And then I went in with my Frizz Buster hair oil and I did use some Bio Silk oil. I mixed the two up and just rubbed it through the hair and all across the baby hairs just for a nice sleek finish. And the Frizz Buster does control frizzing. The hair did not frizz up at all on my client on her vacation or after this install like everything was just nice and silky and perfect and here are the final results yes 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 melted melted and slayed again big shout outs to my crowned wigs my client was super happy i was even happier for her because like I just get better and better every day like I really body this and this lace was just perfecto 
if you guys like this video which i know you loved it don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and leave a comment below of what else you like to see on my channel don't forget to stay tuned hit that notification bell so you can see more videos later